Let's work on the next solution, how to use datetime variables and print date and time in UiPath Studio Web. We'll go ahead and create a new project and we'll add the project title and we'll click on create. Restart. Create a new project, add the title of the project and select manually as the trigger and click on create. You can click on plus symbol and add an activity called set variable value and here you can add a variable or a system variable called date time dot now and you can assign it to current date and time once you have completed that activity add a log message activity and whatever variable that you have created in the previous step let's go ahead and display that in the current step run the code you can see your automation like this let's go and code the solution click on new project give your project title as date and time select manually click on create Click on this plus symbol, click on set variable value and here click on the plus symbol and use open expression editor. Here add date time dot now. So this is a system variable which will give you the current date time on which the bot is executing. Click on save. Let's go ahead and add a variable here. Save as variable and give a proper variable name current date time. If you're seeing the type of it is date format. This is a specific format used for storing date and time in UiPath. Click on that and then hit on create. Let's go ahead and show this variable in a log activity. Click on log message and you can select the variable that you have already created. Current date and time and select the log level as info. Click on run. bot executed successfully and this is the date and time in which the recording is being done it's not the end we can do more with this current date time variable let's go ahead and add one more log message activity and again use the plus symbol and use variable here you can select current date and time but other than that you can also do few more activities click on current date and time and you will see a series of other activities that you can do the date will give you only the date like the current date it will not give you the time and day will give you what is the day of it like first or second or third day of the week will give you if it is monday tuesday or wednesday and day of the year it will give you what is the current day of this year and hour will give you what is the current hour you can see that there are more properties and more activities that you can do with current data, but that's for another video. For now, just go ahead and let's try out with what is the current day of the year and let's try to find out how many days passed since we have started this year. So this is the 249th day of this year. Check out with other properties and see what results are you getting and add in the comments if you have any queries. Hey, amazing viewers. Hope you are loving our content. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button right now.